Hi, I'm Andrew, the Young Adult and Media Librarian at North Brunswick Public Library. And I'm recording this on June 8th. And if you're watching this in the month of June, then I wish a very happy Pride Month to you. Looking at a graphic novel that relates to Pride Month, although it doesn't really take place in our world or exactly our world, Mooncakes by Wendy Zhu and Suzanne Walker. Right? And you, know, you can borrow this as a book, as you know, the hard copy of a book from the library. You can put a hold on it if you have a North Brunswick Library card. Or you can use that card to do what I did and just read the book on Hoopla. And you know, here we have our two main characters. We're gonna, you know, we can tell right away, oh, there's a witch and a werewolf, and they look and they look kind of happy here. It looks like kind of a sweet little story here. And you'd be correct, right? Sometimes you can judge a little bit about a book from its cover. All right, here we have. One of, one of those one of our two main characters right and this is yeah, this is Tam right and you start off with a sort of really sort of gentle wistful page here all right we get all I think that yeah I was sympathetic to Tam right away with this right we have the sort of has this need to belong somewhere and yes he is the wolf here. What I really liked about the art is that you could show how, a how the you know, the artists really show how the character is feeling, just even just looking from them uh, from another angle, right? even in a wolf form, and we can see there's something dangerous there. Right? And now we pick up with Nova. Nova is living with is an orphan. She's living with her two grandmothers. Right, and you know, she works. She works with them, and a customer comes in. And she's looking for some rare books. This brings us to uh, one of my favorite sequences in it. You take, well, uh, Nova brings the woman back to the book of the book of the room of books on witchcraft, and uh, you can see here. Oh, there's a book that has teeth on it. Teeth in it. All right. Some people talk about devouring a good book, but don't let a good book devour you. And of course, what happens is, you know, they, you know the story goes on. She investigates something strange going happening. And of course, we know, we already know, or we have reason to believe it's actually Tam. And suddenly there's a monstrous horse demon here, right? Remember, there is real danger in this world, right? And uh, you know, part of the, you know, we're not necessarily, you know, we may not necessarily be sure that everyone will survive. But even, but at the same time, I was also wrapped up in watching that, watching the two characters and their their relationship develop. All right, let's move ahead a little bit. And um, all right, this is T.S. Yes, Tam has been wounded. All right, and you know, it's it's really interesting. You know, there's a very effective bond that grows between the characters. And, uh, and you know, they are at an age where they're not sure where they belong. And watching them figure that out or try to figure that out, I thought was very effective. Uh, so have you read this book? Uh, I'd be curious to hear your opinion. Uh, you, know, can, you can email me at agerber at northbrunswicklibrary.org. Or remember, we do have uh, limited hours now. So check out our website, northbrunswicklibrary.org to see our hours. and when you can come in to browse, or when you can come in for pickup, things like that. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks a lot and happy reading and look out for those full moons and those horse demons. Bye-bye.